Hey guys, this is uh, JP. Um, I usually go by JP Freeman, uh, which is kind of a liberty activist name, but uh, it's JP Phillips. Um, since uh, the name's all over, all over the place anyway, and I'm not afraid to tell people who I am. It's just a, a liberty fun thing to do. Um, this is gonna be an update. I I figured I'd do it by video. Um, instead of sending links to the websites and PDFs and it's just so I rather talk and get it done and get it over with rather than just PDF and everything. Anyways, on New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock YouTube channel, um, and New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock org and Facebook page, um, we ended up getting a, uh, a compl some complaints in Manchester, New Hampshire, uh, for the Manchester PD. Excuse me, this stuff will kill you. Product placement. Um, anyways, uh, we've been there and we've filed multiple complaints, um, exhausted pretty much every remedy that I had. Um, and you can find the, the story on New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock.org and updates on all the videos um, pertaining to the whole thing on New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock YouTube channel, this channel. Um, I know some of you want to follow, and even the haters like to critique whatever. Um, they could kiss my ass, but hey, watch it anyway. I don't care. It gives me views. Um, anyways, um, on 4-30, uh, 2016, I sent out a massive letter to all department heads of the Manchester Police Department. Um, this includes... Um, Captain Maureen Tessier, who's part of the Legal, Professional, and Standards Department. Um, Lieutenant Jay Muji, who's a daytime supervisor, who I have a, a receipt of complaint against. Um, that video is on New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock, and it, I believe it's labeled um, useless. Uh, Lieutenant Useless sticks up for his toddler um, badge bullies. Um, that's, that's the video heading. Um, Captain James Saucy, who's in charge of the investigative um, department, who's probably uh, the detectives, the detective division and the task force and vice units. Captain Michael Begley, um, he's in charge of the, uh, the patrol division. Um, Captain Todd Boucher, who's part of their community policing. Um, I believe they ride some horseback and stuff like that. Um, Captain Mark Sinemente, um, Special Enforcement, which I believe is their version of SWAT teams or uh, Special Response teams. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, but all this message went to, to all the heads. Um, this is in response to the... Manchester Police Department feeling they have a right to take a recording device for evidence, even if you're recording a police interaction. Now you can see the debate, well you can hear the debate on New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock YouTube channel. I believe it's the latest uh, uh, video added, I believe it was added today, which is 5-7-2016. Um, it was added by Ethan Glover, um, the other member of New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock. It's just uh, two of us. We have a bunch of editors um, in other towns. Andrea Wells from Manchester, New Hampshire. Connor Pitt. Um, there's a bunch of editors that help us out um, with uh, case law and ideas. And they're part of other cop lock uh, chapters as well. Um, but anyways, one of them had their phone taken in Manchester by uh, an officer, Finn, who's a training officer, um, accompanied with uh, Officer Healy and an officer Harrington. I believe he's called Duke Harrington, if I'm not mistaken, if it's the same Harrington. Uh, this was uh, the Harrington that I had a conversation with at the DY checkpoint in Manchester. At the time, I didn't realize it was the same dude. Um, I, I thought it was very strange um, in his reaction when I said Finn. Um, he kind of was like, I don't know any Finn. He emphasized it pretty good, which gave me the impression he actually did know Finn. Um, and now we, now we know we actually knows him. So this was a legal notice that went out. Um, notice attachment, any retaliatory behavior 
lookups, illegal side investigation, unauthorized and or NHIC, which is the New Hampshire Information uh, Criminal Information Center, or NCIC, which is the National Criminal Information Center, without probable cause, with result in criminal injunction filing in Superior Court. Any retaliatory action taken by police on traffic stops, unwarranted harassment, and or false arrest threats of interfering with a traffic stop will result in a criminal injunction filing in Superior Court. Any interfering with a photographer, correspondent, writer, author, or admin of New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock will result in a criminal injunction filing in Superior Court. Criminal injunction meaning a violation of your civil rights, um, which is a, 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 a criminal thing using a power of force to stop somebody from doing a fundamental right like recording, defined under Glick versus uh, Cuniff, which is the uh, um, First Circuit Court of Appeals in Boston. Our recent interaction with Lieutenant Mucci and the attempt to remedy illegal actions taken has prompted an extensive investigation to the aspects of training, hidden conversation, and agendas in Manchester Police Department. All findings and emails are forwarded over to the New Hampshire Attorney General's Office, County Attorney's Office, FBI Anti-Corruption Unit, New Hampshire State Police Training and Standards Internal Affairs Division, all of which will and can be used in discovery if a decision of a suit is made, if a remedy is not satisfactory to New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. Thank you, M. Phillips, which is me, JP. And um, I sent this message to all the department heads. And as you saw in the video, we sat down with uh, Captain Tessia Thursday. Um, and both uh, all the video and audio for that, and even the audio of me debating the Fourth Amendment, um, and even the First Amendment um, with her. So we got these uh, these receipts and complaints. I believe these will be posted on New Hampshire Regional Coplock .org. Um, We are, in fact, the reason why I'm making this video is we are filing a civil um, a civil rights violation. Um, against members of New Hampshire Regional Cop Block, and all remedies have been exhausted. I've called the city solicitor's office. I basically get the phone hung up on me. Um, this might be due to the Free Staters um, and uh, Free State Project people that live in Manchester. Uh, they have a very big problem with collectivizing and um, um, basically saying they're part of the uh, same group. Um, if this uh, keeps going on the way it does, um, it's going to end up in front of a Superior Court judge and, and or even federal. Um, if this federal, when it goes federal, um, which I think they're probably going to request, um, it's going to get even you know, bigger from there. But, on the same note, we as a non-profit organization, if you will, um, we have to uh, exhaust all legal remedies or remedies before filing, and we've done that. We've talked to multiple people, state level, police level, um, county attorney's office, and Manchester police are under the impression, wholeheartedly under the impression, that they're allowed to take your recording device, if you're videotaping a traffic stop, or an arrest, or something that includes something, say a cop gets punched, they literally feel that they have a right to just take your device and hold it as evidence. And then, Captain Tessier said she can, you know, we'll get a warrant afterwards. Well, what, after or before you delete all the incriminating stuff on you guys? Um, this is a civil rights violation. This is going to go into Superior Court. I'm filing, um, I'm writing it up tonight and filing it Monday morning. And I'll, and I'll keep uh, everybody updated on that. Um, the other thing is, um, I don't know if I told uh, people before, but there's an activist group in Keene, New Hampshire called Free Keene and FreeKeene.com. Um, it's a blog, and people that are um, part of that group, uh, um, that blog, uh, they kind of have a following of activists in the area, in the Keene area. Because one or two of them do cop lock or did cop lock in the past, I get collectivized as a free stater or free keener, which I am not. Um, so basically, I have a lawsuit against the 8th Circuit Court Keen, Family Division Keen, Administrative Offices of Courts, and a group called Stop Free Keen. 
Stop Freaking is a bunch of haters. They say they have like a thousand members, but they actually don't. They just add people that are on their friends list that aren't members. It might be maybe four maybe active um, members of uh, Stop Freaking. Um, in fact, one of them keeps posting stuff all around Keen about Ian Freeman from Free Talk Live and uh, LRNFM Liberty Radio Network that uh, that all that stuff uh, uh, that has to do with the FBI going in there and uh, searching hard drives and computers for child pornography. Um, I believe somebody looked up some site for 17 seconds and the FBI went in there um, not hastily but very softly took some of their equipment in fact they even gave Ian his camera back a few weeks later um, and he's not under uh, I, I don't believe he's under investigation because they didn't say that um, they, they also uh, haven't brought any charges there's no indictment but this stuff Free King groups going around saying he's indicted and he's getting arrested for this and this so it's just all libelous bullshit until uh, you know um, until they get the truth. Well, they've been doing this a lot. Well, anyways, I'm suing them. Um, basically, uh, um, I had a family hearing. Uh, me and my ex broke up two years ago, and now uh, um, they don't have custody battles here in, in New Hampshire. They have uh, what they call a parenting petition. Um, it's parenting time that you fight for. Um, because the law is written here that both parents, um, it's fundamental to have both parents part of the kids' lives no matter what the stories are between the man and, and uh, the man and the girl or the man and woman. Um, so they, the, the courts are like kind of closed off to, oh, he did this and she did that, blah, 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 blah. The law is written pretty specific here um, that you get 50-50 custody, 50-50 parenting time. Unless, uh, you know, scheduling and all that stuff uh, applies and, you know, the father gets them on Father's Day, the mom gets them on Mom's Day. They try to make it equal here. Well, um, during that fit, the last part of the family hearing, um, I gave some history about mental health, uh, a head injury that I had a long time ago, um, and some medications I was on at that time. And the, uh, the hearing was closed to the public, or court-ordered closed. He even made everybody leave the courtroom, ordered everybody to leave the courtroom. They locked the door and made everybody leave during that part of uh, giving uh, that information to the court. And it was also ordered it to be sealed. Um, well, the Eighth Circuit Court Family Division released the CDs of the audio of that particular hearing, including the closed part and the sealed part, to a Jennifer Schmidt, um, a member of Fr Stop Free Keen. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I had a, 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 a superior court restraining order against her husband, Matt Schmidt, um, for one year through superior court in Keene because he threatened me with a wrench and threatened to make my kids a life of living hell. At that time, my daughter was only one and my, uh, my son was only two and a half, um, which is really bad to say that about a toddler. Um, I don't... I don't agree with calling the police. I'd rather do it through the civil court system, and uh, which I did. And I'll use the state to shove the state up status asses no matter what. Um, and it worked. They, he laid off and backed off, and but they, they st didn't stop running his mouth online, which I really don't care. I still, I still get paid, um, and I still work. I work my ass off uh, cutting down trees and stuff, but. You know, fuck them. If they want to say I don't have a job, why do I rent a whole building? Uh, I don't come up with the money out of my ass. I'm not, uh, I, you know, on public assistance or anything like that, like they claim. Um, that's just all bullshit. Um, it doesn't matter if I was. Um, it's none of their damn business. Well, anyways, um, this, uh, this stop free keen lady, uh, Jennifer Schmidt, who was under investigation for stalking a minor, um, you can actually check that case out. It's, uh, it was in uh, um, eight district, eight district court. Um, Jennifer Schmidt, or the state versus Jennifer Schmidt, um, and uh, I guess she was following some uh, mental health kid around for talking to her daughter, and she actually has a no trespass order on one of the uh, elementary schools here in town. Um, and the founder of Stop Free Keen, Andrea Parker Wickham, her husband, um, got indicted, and you can find that 
um, case in, in Keene uh, Superior Court. Superior Court, I believe it's the State versus Wickham. Um, he, he basically made a false company, started writing checks to himself, and cashing them at TD Bank North here in Keene, which is a bank here in, in uh, New, the New England area, um, in the amount of over $25,000 and won $15,000. Um, and you can read the read the case if you if people want to troll troll that. But these are the type of people they are. Um, and now I have a full blown lawsuit in the the uh, the orders um, that came in uh, fairly recently um, were pretty pretty straightforward, um, which uh, which I like. Um, I believe I scanned them and made a PDF of the orders. Um, the rulings were in the first instant and based on now clear claims, Mr. Phillips, this court reverses the prior order of March 30th, dismissing the courts as named defendants. That's the 8th Circuit Court and the, uh, the Administrative Office of Courts as named defendants. The courts are reinstated as defendants without objection from the Office of the Attorney General. That's who I'm going up against. Next... The court grants Mr. Phillips' request of temporary relief accordingly. The courts and Stop Free Keen are hereby enjoined from further disseminating sealed portion of the record containing Mr. Phillips' testimony in RE, Matt Phillips and Heather DeLock, 8th Circuit Court Family Division, Keen Docket Number 649214DM39. Additionally, Stop Free Keen is hereby ordered to submit the original audio recording received from the courts to the court to the court clerk of the Hillsborough County Superior Court Southern District. Um, I believe there's two superior courts. Southern District is Nashua and Northern District is Manchester, so that's to clarify that. Within 10 days, if any copies of the audio recording were made in whatever form, they too shall be submitted. Any submissions will be sealed and maintained in this matter until further order of this court. Lastly, Stop Free Keen and its members are hereby ordered to remove any links which provide the public of private access to the audio recording from the public domain or any other source. Those links include, but are not limited to, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. A structure and conference relative to the trial on merit shall be scheduled in approximately one month, as the doctor permits, I believe it's June 7th. Um, I got an email, but I didn't get the paperwork yet, but the destruction conference is going to be June 7th. Um, I believe I picked up an attorney um, on this matter. I don't want to give his name because I don't have him retained yet. Um, we'll get that stuff. But to clarify, there's the document. If you guys want to see the judge's signature, it's right there. Um, PDFs, I, be, I believe, will be made later on, but this is uh, kind of like a private suit. Um, because it was my private information. I got. Nobody needs to know what medications I was on 13 years ago um, or whatever I was diagnosed with 13 years ago because we know the mental health field can throw out any number of diagnosis um, on anybody they want um, to flood money through the HMOs and, and pri private insurance companies to prescribe companies that, that give kickbacks to doctors in order to prescribe certain meds. Um, right now, I'm on a, a, a simple anti-anxiety at night, which I never take, um, and I was do diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder, um, which which helps me with my, you know, cop block work. I obsess about going after police. I obsess about going after the state that violate our rights, and I'm obsessed with hating the state, hating. Um, Massive amounts of authority that infringe on our right to do whatever we want to do. Um, if you want to call that an illness, fuck you. Um, basically, that that's where I'm at. Um, but this uh, this right here is uh, the the New Hampshire Regional Cop Law Call Center. Um, this is where we have the computers going. We got live feeds going on the scanner scanner networks all over uh, New Hampshire. Um, we got live feeds coming in from other cop block chapters. Um, we're part of many, many groups, and, and information keeps flooding in. Um, we got our press passes, and uh, and um, and uh, we wear these press things.
um, and we want to uh, let everybody know if you act as press, um, this will um, put the cops, you know, on that boundary where okay, they're press, they they're allowed to do that instead of being some antagonistic prick um, from the side of the street. I mean, you can be an antagonistic prick if they do something wrong because I I'm famous for that. Um, and, and these people on uh, New Hampshire Regional Cop Block, some, some of the comments that we get on the, on the page are ridiculous. Oh yeah, you're too much of a pussy. You yell at them with their windows up. <laughs> Apparently you haven't watched my uh, YouTube channel because I yell at cops all the time in their face. Um, which I try not to do um, because I have a family. I can't get locked up. Um, luckily I haven't been arrested um, for it. Um, knock on plastic. Um, but that's to update you guys, uh, Ethan Glover, myself, um, New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock, New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock .org, New Hampshire Regional FB page, and New Hampshire Regional uh, YouTube channel. Hit a like and subscribe, and all the people that have been asking to keep an update on this, um, I'm going to be doing video podcasts, this is my, one of my mini casts, um, and we're going to do uh, on the road podcast, uh, probably tonight, um, and you'll see the, uh, um, the three-way camera that we have in the vehicle and you can see uh, the driver's side, the passenger passenger side, the rear and the front, our speed and global positioning which is awesome. There's only been two videos posted on, on uh, how we do things there and uh, we'll be hitting Manchester and uh, Keene, New Hampshire tonight because today is graduation day so cops like to go after college kids for revenue purposes. They make $35,000 a month on them so I gotta go cop locking. Um, Love, peace, and hair grease, and I'll see you guys around.